Uh, Buhari in question, he has been embarrassing himself by uses, uh, using them uh, unqualified them, uh, chief of farming staff, uh, let me just say service chiefs in general. So if they arrest people, they will not bring them to book. They will only arrest them after some few months, they will release them. But if it is a Enan Dekanu, or if it is Sunday Ogbo or any other person, they will arrest them, they make sure they persecute them. But these people, his own kinsmen, he's not doing anything about them. So the issue of uh, is to embarrass him. The president has been, he has embarrassed himself already. So all of us, we know it. So what are we talking about here? All those things are trash and nonsense. The insecurity problem in Nigeria is like a tap, it's like a tree. It has a tap root. It has a stem. It has branches and leaves. So far, since or before board inception, Nigerian leaders have been cutting the leaves leaving the tablet, the stem, the branches. Hmm? So the day Nigerian leaders eh, would say, okay, we want to address insecurity from Nigeria, they uproot it from the tablet, insecurity will end in Nigeria. Brutai came, played all his pranks, and he was retired, well, he was asked to rest small. He's still doing his, his business. It was all business. He went and did Brutai Nigerian Limited, in, in Medigree. Hmm? So Nigerian government has failed to address this in Nigeria. It doesn't take one hour for Nigerian government to put a stop to insecurity in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So do you think it's very motivated? What do you what do you in politics? I say separate insecurity in Nigeria from politics. Do you understand me? Whoever is in lead is whoever is the leader in Nigeria, eh? on him lies the security of Nigeria. Okay, um, the attack in um, NDA is really a disgrace to the country, to be very, very candid. What it really means is that um, we as citizens, we are not safe in this country. If the whole of the formations in NDA was attacked, there was no hurt, soldiers were killed, abducted, the remaining one that long was reported to have been killed after demanding for 200 million ransom, which was not paid, there, there was no report that any of the uh, any of the um, the attackers was shot, killed, or arrested. I mean, the whole of the country is in a mess. It's a disgrace to the nation, in general. I don't think it's politically motivated. Anybody that comes to say that it's politically motivated should be ashamed of himself, for even coming on air to say that such kind of an attack, instead of hiding his face in a sh in shame, saying that it's motivated, is completely not acceptable by me. I don't know what you mean by that, but all I know that is you should know that there's insecurity in the country. And uh, if he say it's uh, politically motivated, I don't know what you mean by that. But I must tell you that uh, we need, uh, we need to be serious about our security and uh, we need to uh, beef up the security and the security men have to be up to task to show that uh, this country will not be disgraced internationally because it's a slant on our own side that the NDA, the whole NDA had been, um, 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 uh, had been um, um, invaded by these uh, hoodlums. The, the, whether it is uh, insurgents, whether it is bandits, whether it is whatever they, they are. But uh, we should be serious about our security. Security is the one of the heartbeats of a nation. If the attack is political, mot politically motivated, I think they should use politics also and solve the problem. Or rather, are they telling us that, okay, people should be politically, uh, be killing people or do whatever they are doing? I mean, it's unfair. People are dying. So if it's a political problem, they should use political angle and solve the problem. It's as simple as that. If you know where your problem is, I mean, you should find the solution. So to me, whatever he says doesn't hold water. They are all politicians. So if he knows that it's a politically motivated killing, they should use politics and solve it. They have spent so much money on arms and ammunition. Whereas they know that it's a political problem. It means whatever thing that is on the streets that they know what is going on is true. How much did Buhari spend the other time? Now he's telling us that it's politically, uh, politically motivated. I mean, 
it's unreasonable. I don't think anybody will listen to him. What form of achievement? I, I don't know. What, what has he achieved? <laughs> what is a big deal in constructing roads, which is a normal thing an average government should do? And where are the roads? If you say you have constructed roads, those are the things they've been bombarding us with. Where are the roads? I come from Burnley State. I should feel government presence in my local government. If you care, I will mention my local government. I, 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 I have a car, but I cannot drive that car to my village because of bad roads. Before I get to the village, I will make sure that I ask all the necessary questions. So where are the um, achievements? I don't know. Well, he could say this to whoever that is not living in Nigeria, but we that are in Nigeria, walking the street of Nigeria every day, we are not finding it funny. And the government is not doing well, to be emphatic about it. Garwa Shehu is uh, economical with the truth because he's just trying to do uh, the master's bidding, trying to defend, uh, you know, illegality. He should tell Nigerians the truth. Gal Bashir is not more Nigerian than any other person. He's looking at Nigerian uh, project as if it's uh, his personal estate or that kind of thing. Nigeria belongs to all of us. From the time the government, you know, uh, came into power, this is getting to six years now. We've been having uh, the essence of voting the president into power was because of insecurity during Jonathan's uh, regime. And then since he came on board, the thing has escalated. As a retired uh, military uh, head of state and as a, as a retired general, we expect that he should nip the insecurity in the board. But we've seen that we have a lot of intrigues, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, insincerity going on. And like the former person, the person that spoke before me said that it's like a tree that has root. If you don't uproot the thing from the root and you are cutting the stem and the rest of them, the moment you cut the stem, it will still grow. So Nigerians need to be told the truth. Who are those behind the insurgents? Who are those giving them ammunition? Who are those, you know, uh, arming the Fulani men? Who are those? Who are those? Who are those? We need to know. It's not the issue of what Garba Sheh is saying because after three, four years, he will get out of that place. And that person will come in. The Nigerian project is beyond what he's talking about. And except the Nigerian government tells us the truth and uh, it comes out to do the needful. Even if you bring, uh, uh, who is the best president we've ever had? Mandela, if you resurrect him and bring him to Nigeria, the system will say swallow him because we have unseen hands that are fueling the insecurity.